Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Emilio from Digital Byte Computing. Uh, today, we're gonna to be talking about some stuff that I've got set up in my studio. Uh, I have a couple of things that I really enjoy. I enjoy computers and I enjoy music. So I sort of try to combine these two things together. And I'm just gonna go through my little setup that I've got here in my studio, go through the equipment that I've got, how I've got it set up. Before we do get into that though, remember as always to subscribe to my channel, Digital by Computing, clicking on the bell to be kept up to date with everything that is going on. As you guys know, if you are a regular on my channel, you know that I work in the IT industry. I absolutely love tech. I love playing with the latest hardware and software that is getting released. Things that make my life easier in the IT industry. Things that can help me do my job better. That can help all of my colleagues do their job better. Things such as automation. Um, I work on things that are uh, infrastructure-based, network, security, servers, a bit of development, really all of the IT stuff sort of combined into the one place. So something that's important for anybody who likes technology, who likes to geek out, is to try to keep updated with what they have got. So what I've actually done is I've purchased and got a few little pieces of equipment that I've set up, some that I got for free working across different businesses. Sometimes you get freebies, other stuff is just very, very cheap cheap that you can go pick up, relatively cheap. You just use some spare parts that you may have at home. You could invest a little bit of money to upgrade some of this equipment so that you can build a lab environment at home and you can play around and build stuff, destroy stuff, troubleshoot. And because I love working in the IT industry, I also like to set up my stuff so that I can play in a sort of a lab environment so that I can keep up to date with what's sort of going on in the IT world. This video does not go into specifically uh, how I build the lab. I do have other videos covering that, which you can check out. Today, we're really just focusing on stuff from a higher level around what equipment that I've got. So here is my primary computer, just a small little 13 inch MacBook Pro. Uh, this has been beefed up with the most amount of RAM, CPU, and an SSD hard drive, just because I like it to run a little bit better. But this really is my primary working uh, machine for my everyday use. And there are other computers that we're gonna talk about, but you will see this one right here, it's just got a single USB-C cable. USB-C being relatively new anyway, and uh, the great thing is this is one cable really to rule them all. You've got all of your peripherals, your power, everything is screen all running into that. You'll see that that is now connected to a single widescreen monitor. This is a 34 inch widescreen curved screen. Absolutely love this. And I've opted to go with one single monitor because I actually find that it's a lot neater than having two. And I don't actually need the real estate of two screens because this is actually nice and wide you'll see that this is actually mounted to the wall, so all the cabling is all run behind the screen, and there's also LED light strips behind it to sort of give it a nice little wow factor. These lights are fully Wi-Fi compatible, so they're all connected to my smart home, and you can pick these up from Amazon for quite cheap. Um, if you do check the description in, in the show notes there in the video, I've got the links to two different types of LED light strips that I like to use, not only in this room, but across the house. The nice thing is that this screen is all connected via that single USB. And on the back of the screen, there's also USB connectors. So I've got hard drives, I've got my other USB connections, my, my charging cables, all running through that one cable. My primary keyboard and mouse here being the beautiful Apple wireless keyboards. These are Bluetooth, they're rechargeable. I've gotten the darker color as opposed to the white because I just think they look so much better and they're very, very slick, very, very easy to use and I absolutely love them. Now working in the IT field, being a complete neat freak has really, really helped me because when I look after things such as data centers and cabling, I like it all to be neat, labeled, cable tied, 
sort of routing along certain cable trays, things like that. And I've sort of brought those good practices at home and tried to make my studio as neat and clean as possible. I also enjoy music. I am an avid player of guitar. I've been playing guitar for a very long time as well, almost, yes, longer than I have been in IT. I've actually been playing guitar longer than technology. How's that? So it says something about my guitar playing, which could be a lot better than what it is anyway, but um, I've got a few different guitars, acoustic guitars, electric guitars, I've got a bass as well uh, that I use to play. I've done the band stuff, I've got a range of pedals and amps and all these sort of things. And I've all got it all set up in a nice and neat arrangement around my studio so that it looks really, really neat. Here I've got a beautiful Ibanez electric guitar with a little whammy bar right there. This is absolutely beautiful. My pride and joy here being my Gibson Les Paul. This is my favorite guitar and it absolutely sounds incredible. That is next to a Yamaha acoustic, which is an electric acoustic, so you can run that into an amp and into a PA as well. And on one of my other walls, I've got a beautiful uh, Spanish acoustic guitar. I, this is one of my first guitars that I ever got when I was a kid, when I first started playing guitar. and also a Yamaha silver bass, which is perfect for my bottom end bass sound. To the right of my computer desk and, and primary workstation, uh, I've got this little setup that you can see right here where I've got my amplifier, as well as all of my music gear, this being my primary amplifier, which is a Vox AC15. It's a single speaker amplifier. And of course you run your guitar and all your instruments into this and it creates that beautiful sound. Of course on the top you can adjust all of the sound settings, the bass, the treble, the highs, the mids, the lows, uh, and all of some other customizations as well. That's all cabled through the back and running into what's underneath there, which is my guitar pedal set. So what I've got here is what's called a pedal board. This is a pedal train pedal board. I've got a few different pedal boards, but this is my primary one. And I can mix and match pedals. Of course, what guitar pedals do is they give me a unique sound for my guitar. If I just run a guitar straight into an amplifier, it's gonna sound okay. But then if you run it through pedals and through effects, it actually will sound a lot better. You can add things like distortion and overdrive, delays, and a whole range of other different effects. So what I've done is I've set up a uh, IT home lab, all stored in this other little cabinet along with some other geeky items. As you can see there, I loved Nintendo growing up as a kid. So I've got a few older consoles as well as some other little geeky things. And then of course, a couple of posters to some great movie franchises. So of course this being the Nintendo 64, as well as the Super Nintendo. The classic first Nintendo Entertainment System, along with a Wii. Now these are the consoles that I had, which means I am missing a few others, but they're the ones that I found to be near and dear to me. And then you've got a little Game Boy there on the very far left. So here is my lab in full. Uh, there's not too much stuff, but I like to keep it small and neat uh, just to make it a little bit easier. So apart from all of my geeky stuff, I've also got some little computers that I use for my primary lab environment for learning. So here are two little computers. The one on the right being a NUC uh, and the one on the left being a Mac Mini. Both of these do not have an original operating system. Normally you would have say Windows and Mac OS running on these two but I've actually chosen to install what's called VMware's ESXi. So by running this with uh, ESXi, uh, you can actually build multiple computers and host them. So rather than having just one single computer that is just you know, giving me Mac OS, uh, the operating system, I install ESXi, and then I can actually install multiple servers and desktop clients and things like that, operating systems. So what I've got is I've got a number of Windows servers, I've got Linux on there, I've got Ubuntu, CentOS, I've got Kali Linux, uh, and I can just use those for testing, I can use them for my setup. 
both the Intel NUC and the Mac Mini running ESXi are part of an environment called VMware vCenter. So they're both part of a single cluster and then I can share resources and build VMs and move them between those servers. There's also an older Dell desktop here, uh, very similar to the Intel NUC and the Mac Mini. This is also running ESXi. So in total, I do have three ESXi hosts, all being hosted over the center. And then underneath, you've got a Lenovo uh, ThinkPad laptop. This is running a version of Linux called Kali Linux, which I use for things such as pen testing. It's got a lot of cool tools around hacking tools and things of that nature, but it's also great for just learning Linux and all of the security components in IT. Then you've got your primary unit for all of your storage. This is what's called a uh, NAS, a network attached storage. It's got four bays, as you can see right there, with four hard drives. In this particular one, I've got four three terabyte hard drives. They're created in a RAID, have one disk fail, and then I don't lose all of my data. There's a whole bunch of different RAID configurations that you can set up on a NAS, uh, but these are awesome. Uh, the great thing is I can build it with a lot of storage. I can expand it in future, and I've got no problem in running out of space. Uh, this is a Synology, and essentially my three computers, which we showed you, the Mac Mini, the Intel NUC, as well as the Dell, are all using this as a primary storage. Apart from this is also my file server and my media server. So all of my movies, TV shows, my documentaries, home movies, photos is all stored on here and shared across my network. And then of course, you don't want to lose this unit and have all the data go away. So I make sure that I back that up regularly uh, onto external media and I get that sent off site in case my house burns down and then I lose everything. We don't want that to happen. All of this is connected into the switch down the bottom being a Cisco Meraki. This is a gigabit switch and anything that is ethernet that is run via a cable, I will run it into this. My lab environment is all running into this along with my main computer and other systems in my house. And then of course, I've got the beautiful uh, LED lights similar to what I had on the back of the screen and on my desk uh, to light up that whole thing under Wi-Fi. It's not set up here in my studio, but I've also got a primary firewall and router. I've got a few other devices scattered around my house around wireless access points so I can have strong Wi-Fi scattered around my place. So all of my devices that can't be physically plugged in like my phones, my tablets, Apple TVs, all these sort of things are all running over my Wi-Fi network. Now, a lot of the devices in my room here are uh, controlled over a smart device. And this being my uh, small Amazon Echo Dot, uh, I do have these scattered across the house along with the Echoes themselves. Some connected to speakers, others not. But this is a great device to get you started around smart home. This is connected to my primary speakers. But the great thing about this is that I can just speak to this, give it that key phrase Alexa, which hopefully didn't trigger anything, and then I can talk to everything. So smart plugs that control uh, certain power units on and off, along with my LED lights, some being Wi-Fi, others being on the smart plug. So everything on and off, all via my smart home devices, which is brilliant. This is, as I said, is running into my primary speakers. These are iRhythm speakers, and they just give me a nice, good sound for my entire setup. So there you have it. That was the little tour of my domain. But that's it for now. Uh, like this video if you did like it. And as always, remember to subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, for a whole bunch of more videos. And to keep up to date, clicking on that bell uh, so that you know when I'm releasing new videos. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. We'll see you next time.